everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be decorating my room a little bit i decided that i didn't like the tapestry that was right here before because i want more of my walls to show ever since i took that huge collage wall down that was there before i realized how much cleaner and brighter my room looks with like more of my white walls showing so last night i took down the tapestry and my parents helped me put up some shelves that i got from amazon today i'm gonna be decorating the shelves and making some stuff for them first let's do a little haul of everything that i got i'm gonna open this box from amazon by the way everything will be linked down below so the first thing i got is this little bubble candle i can like already smell it and i haven't even taken it out yet this is the brand on amazon again i will have it linked down below look how cute this is oh my gosh it's so tiny this smells amazing i probably won't be lighting it it'll probably be more for decoration i probably shouldn't touch it so much Just getting my hands all waxy all right next is this big box from amazon Okay, so it is this pearl lamp. This must be really fragile because the packaging is like kind of over the top. Okay, so here is what it looks like. This part right here lights up. Actually, let me try it out. Oh my gosh, how cute. So this is what it'll look like on. I love this so much. I've been seeing these all over Pinterest. I don't know why I even just like this by itself. I'm not actually gonna use it by itself, but it's cute. I just love having lights in my room because it makes it look so much cozier, especially at night. And next I have some stuff from Target. These are all from the dollar section. First, I have these little vases so it comes with a pack of three you guys will see what i'm doing with these later on then i got this little like easter egg plant type of thing i just like the design i thought it was kind of like cool and funky and it was only a dollar and then i got this little flower dish this was also only a dollar i think this is a part of like their little easter like spring collection and then i also got this heart dish a while back this was also a dollar i got this when they had all the valentine's day stuff out so i don't know if you would still be able to find it so now onto the fun part i want to paint these and then these little vases and i want to put some like fake flowers in them so I need to run to Michael's and get some paint and some flowers. Michael's haul. I don't know why the camera's shaking so much. I got this little thing of flowers. Their spring like little flower things are 40% off right now. And then I also got this pink one. Got some white paint and then some candy for my mom. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start off with painting the bases. I think I'm only gonna use two of them, but I'm not sure. I guess that's good because I'll have a backup. Oh, these are way cuter than I thought. I thought they just went like straight down if that makes sense, but they're kind of like curvy. Okay, I'm so excited for this. I am gonna start drawing on them with a pencil and kind of just mark where I want to paint. So for the first one, I want to do these two colors so mainly this one and then like this one as an accent color kind of i'm gonna draw a little like curvy lines just kind of going around the base you guys will see i'm really hoping you can't see the pencil through the paint because that would look really bad okay so i have no idea if you can see on camera but i put very faint little pencil marks where i want to paint and then on another one i'm gonna do pink with little red hearts all over it i'm probably the most excited for this one i think i'm gonna watch the kardashians while i do this Okay, I just finished the first one. It looks like way more neon on camera, but I swear it's more like muted in person. But yeah, I just did some like weird lines going around it. They're not perfect at all. It's kind of meant to be more like curvy and messy and stuff. Yeah, I think it's cute. And then I painted this one pink and then I'm gonna do little red hearts on it and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do it. So I'm just taking the end of a paintbrush and then dipping it in the red paint and then making like a little heart like this. It's basically just two little lines like that. It's hard to do. With one hand but you guys get the point so that's how i'm gonna do this one i'm just gonna do them all over okay i just finished the second one i like this one a lot more it just has these cute little red hearts all over it so here are the two finished vases i might end up doing the third one like blue or something i don't know i haven't decided yet just because i don't know how much i like this one i don't know we'll see i'm gonna go eat lunch and then i will be back to paint these ones okay update i painted the little heart tray this like light like beige color i just mixed white and brown i just realized i totally forgot to tell you guys what i'm doing with it basically i'm gonna do this design and i thought it would be good if I did the lightest color first and then just painted the darker ones over it And then i'm gonna paint this one yellow and do some little flowers on it I'll update you guys in a little bit. Okay, I started painting the heart and I realized it would have been way smarter To start from the outside and work my way in so that like the inside could be more of like a perfect heart And it would be right in the center. It's probably gonna look a little weird now I should just hold it far away then it will look good because if you guys look up close It does not look good at all. Anyways, i'm gonna keep going. Okay, so I went ahead and did the rest of the painting off 
camera because I didn't want this whole video to just be me painting. I decided to paint the extra vase after all because I don't really like this one that much. And then I painted this little dish, but I don't like how this turned out either. I feel like the flowers look really bad. This was my first try at the flowers. And then on this one, I used toothpicks instead to make the little dots. And I feel like it turned out so much better. And I don't even want to show you guys the heart. I am so ashamed of it. It is so ugly. Here's what it looks like on camera. Maybe it doesn't look as bad. I don't know. Maybe it does, but here's what it looks like. And then I messed up right there. So I will probably be painting over this. I kind of gave up halfway through, which is why it looks so sloppy. So yeah, I will not be using this one. Also, I just got a package in the mail. Wanted to open it really quick because I'm actually very excited about this. So something that's been super popular recently is little like phone charms, like the little wrist straps for your phone. So I ordered one from this girl on Etsy. I'm actually gonna be doing a video where I make a bunch of them and I show you guys how to do it and everything. That should hopefully come next week, but I did want to just buy one. She wrote a little note and then here is the phone charm thing. Oopsies. I'll have her Instagram on the screen. This is so cute. I'm so excited. I'm gonna put it on my phone now. It can also be used as a camera strap too. I don't use a strap on either of my cameras though, so I wanted to use it on my phone. Here's what it looks like. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I'm super excited about this. Okay, let's get to decorating. So I don't really know where I'm gonna put everything. I'm kind of thinking this on the bottom shelf. I feel like that looks good because it's gonna be one of the biggest things that I have on the shelves. Now I'm gonna do the candle, but I'm gonna take this string off of it. Maybe this one right here. Or should I move this in more? Oh wait, I just had an idea. Maybe put like a plant right there or something. I don't know. Okay, let's try this plant. Oh, I actually really like that. I don't know where this plant is from because it was a gift, but I feel like it's probably from Target. It kind of looks like it would be. Okay, so I might change that up, but there's the first shelf. I'm gonna go ahead and put the flowers in the vases now. These are super difficult to cut because they're like wire. Okay, got this part off. That's what it looks like. Or should I put it in this one? I feel like this one looks better. Okay, here's the second vase. I'm gonna put this one on the top right here. That way there's like a little bit of pink on each shelf so it looks like more balanced. Maybe this one right here. I just realized I'm out of things to use. This was everything that I had for the shelves and I really only need like two more things, maybe one here and like one here. But I have no idea what I'm gonna put there. So I guess we'll figure that out. I totally forgot about the little Easter egg plant that I had. So I'm gonna try to find a place to put this. I'm gonna put it there for now, but that will probably change as I get more stuff. So yeah, here's what it looks like. I think that's it for today's video. I hope you guys found this interesting. I actually really like how it looks. I think the little pearl light thing is my favorite part and I'll make sure to update you guys in my next vlog with how I finish these shelves. So all the stuff I got from Amazon will be linked down below. And if you want anything that I got from Target, you can find it in the dollar section. I would link that stuff, but I don't think they sell dollar section items online. So yeah, I think that's it. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.